Hi there, my Leos, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of November the 11th through to the 24th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for my Leos. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Death card in the upright, followed then by the Eight of Swords upright. Next, we have the Knight of Swords in the upright, followed then by the Knight of Wands upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the a High Priestess in reverse. So let's see what's happening here, my Leos. We have the Death card as the overall energy. Death card corresponds to the sign of Scorpio. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio this week. Um, the Death card can point to, uh, it's a Major Arcana, so it can point to a, a situation in your life, Leo, that perhaps is coming to an end phase. Um, the reason why it's associated with the sign of Scorpio is because the Scorpio is the phoenix that rises from the ashes of something that has come crumbling down, comes and reinvents itself, comes back up again. So it could be some of you are closing out an aspect of your relationship with someone, could be closing out um, a situation, could be closing out a job, a career, a home, an office, whatever the situation is, however it pertains to you. Remember, it's just a general read, so it's going to be different for all of you. But the uh, death card can sometimes mean something like just transforming something in a relationship. Uh, or transforming something in your job or career situation. Say, for example, if you work uh, full-time, maybe you're just going down to part-time now to have more time for yourself or to dedicate it to other things. Sometimes we can go from a part-time position up to a full-time position because we want to work more because we need the funds. It's that kind of uh, energy. Something is transforming. It could be if it's in a relationship, perhaps for some of you, maybe an element of the relationship needs to transform. It needs to change or come to its natural end. Now, coming right off the hop, we do see the Eight of Swords here in the upright position. Eight of Swords is that feeling of uh, that of feeling trapped, and um, a lot of times it's our own mind that's doing so. It could be that you, there's so many circumstances going around in our head that we can't see a way out, and that's why the the swords surrounding the person in the card are there to represent sometimes it's communication it could be that other people are piping in and sort of making you feel restricted or um, trapped in some way and other for others of you it could be your own uh, mind your own mental activity it's going around and around making you feel trapped in a situation perhaps that's why uh, something needs to come to an end or uh, transform or change in some way now coming right next to it is the knight of swords in the upright position this is a court card could be representing a person if it's representing a person this is uh air energy that of gemini libra aquarius sun moon rising now this person could be coming in <clears throat> with some important information for you leo uh could be rushing in sometimes the knight of swords energy is so quick it just boom comes out of nowhere sometimes information can just land on your doorstep or land in your lap and you're like whoa where did that come from that's the kind of energy uh, the knight of swords has knight of swords because it is a knight could be <clears throat> representing an offer so for some of you this could be a written offer or a verbal offer if it's a a suitor say on the romantic front this person could be rushing in towards you very quickly and uh, maybe wanting to take you out uh, maybe wanting to get to know you better for others of you this could represent an offer if uh, say for example you put your resume out there you're looking for a job or a contract this could be representing a written contract for any of you who are waiting for that um, yeah, it's interesting. And and then what follows it is another knight here. We have the Knight of Wands in the upright position. Now we're dealing with fire energy, that of Aries, Leo, like yourself, or Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. For some of you, perhaps you have two suitors, uh, two knights in uh, a spread can sometimes represent like um, a squaring off could be representing a, a fight uh, between these two people. Maybe two people are fighting over you, Leo. Um, it could definitely be the case. Uh, for others of you, uh, the Knight of Wands could be somebody new coming in. Maybe they're offering um, something different for you. Perhaps that's why something is ending and something is starting because the Knight of Wands 
uh, also comes in very quickly. This is Quicksilver, Pajama Man, I also call him. Uh, he comes in with an offer, but this could be an offer of travel. This could be an offer of business opportunity. Uh, that kind of thing could be an offer of an adventure. Maybe someone wants to take you on an adventure. So definitely it could be there's, uh, for some of you, there is definitely two people here that are maybe fighting for your attention. Others of you, this could be two separate offers. Maybe that's why you're, you're kind of feeling confused here in the beginning of the week, not knowing what to do. Maybe you have to make a decision and you have to decide to go without one person and then go towards another. It uh, looks like a little bit of a complicated situation here. Um, for others of you, could be, you know, playing out in the work front. Maybe you have two offers coming in uh, in your career or in your work situation. You've applied for work and now you don't know which one to choose. But, um, you know, there, there could be an element of uh, that in one of these offers, perhaps, that needs a change up. Maybe it's like, I would take your offer provided, you know, there's stipulations here. Uh, something about it seems very constricted, this whole situation. Maybe these two people are coming at you and you're just feeling sort of smothered. <laughs> and maybe it's just too much attention here, Liam. Now, uh, the last card you have up here is the uh, High Priestess in the reverse position. So now this could be pointing to one of two things. Uh, perhaps you're not tapping into your intuition this week, uh, Leo, and that's why you're feeling a little bit confused and constricted. For others of you, perhaps new information has just, um, hidden information that you didn't know before has just sort of dropped. It's just landed, could have been brought in by the Knight of Swords. And now you have other information that you didn't know before. And so this seems to be a bit of a, <clears throat> a cliffhanger <clears throat> here at Leo. You'll have to leave a comment in the comment section below to let me know uh, if this resonated and how so, because it seems like it leaves off with the high priestess in reverse. It's like, you know, hidden information comes to light. Now what do you do? So that's why I said the cliffhanger. And let's see what your um, chakra wisdom oracle card here is. It's self-worth. Know your self-worth, that's very, very important. So if there's two offers coming towards you, remember, uh, don't settle for anything less than what you are worth. And in your, with your second message from the Lenormand deck, let's see what your other message is here. Let's see, the, the mice, okay. The mice, well, this could be representing uh, somebody being very pesky, could uh, represent, because the mice in the Lenormand deck usually represents that sort of pesky energy where somebody's kind of bugging you. And I kind of pick up in this reading too that there's something about someone's behavior or someone's offer that feels a little bit like maybe they're pressuring you, uh, Leo, or pestering you somewhat. So those are your messages. I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye.